Welcome back to another edition of Caught in the Act. We're here with Next Level's very own Coach Matt Sarah. You got Coach Matt here from the background, kind of giving us some verbiage here. We're going to start with this edition, just focusing on the foot and stuff you guys can do at home that'll help you out right off the bat. Maybe you can focus on it today even. So we're going to start out with what we have all of our clients do. It's the first thing we do with them is we show them how to roll out with a golf ball on the bottom of their foot. And right here we're working on the plantar fascia. And again, we're looking for any trigger points. So any areas that are tight, tense, um, very dense, more importantly with that tissue down there, we're just going to try to let that stuff dissipate by applying pressure and moving back and forth. And this is going to work on the plantar fascia, which is really important for obviously the foot, but your back superficial layer runs from the foot all the way up to the top of your shoulders. So just by doing this could open up that whole back line. Spend about 20 to 30 seconds here, focus on what you need to focus on, you'll kind of know. After we're done, then we're just going to focus on finding the arch of that foot. So this is called a Janda short foot, or a Yanda, more importantly said. So we're going to start with the ball of the foot. We're thinking about three contact points, ball of the big toe, ball of the little toe, heel. And we're going to try to pull the ball of the big toe towards the heel so we create an arch with that foot. Now you can do about a set of 10, and then we're going to hold the last one for about a 20 to 30 second count. Now all you're doing is working on rolling the ankle out, pulling that big ball of the foot towards the heel to create a better, stronger arch. And that's gonna be really important for foot stability, ankle stability, knee stability, and hip stability. From there, if you got a blue pad at home, otherwise you could use a couple pillows if you want, we'll just step on top of the blue pad. We'll find the arch a little more dynamic in nature. Coach Sarah's just gonna move his foot, his hip around back and forth. You can do circles, you can do B patterns. And if you wanna progress from here, Matt's going to keep that position and he's just going to lift his knee up towards his chest. Matt, let's just go knee up towards your chest like a sprinter position. So we'll take the hands off. He's going to squeeze his butt, keep his belly tight. This is just going to replicate the foot stability and the hip stability you need when we run, sprint, do all those exercises. He's going to step off from there. and We're just going to incorporate something we use often with our athletes here, just a single leg RDL. And again, we use this for lots of reasons, but again, you're building ankle stability, knee stability, hip stability. So once we ingrain that movement pattern, that hip hinge, we'll keep that back flat, that belly and butt tight. We're gonna come out and we're just gonna hold one rep for about 20 to 30 seconds. Perfect. So again, roll out the bottom of the foot with a golf ball, go to the short foot exercises, use a blue pad, be creative. And we'll get you better in no time.